Disney's All-Star Movies Resorts, and we're doing a very different dining review today. We are ordering off of a secret menu. The menu, which is in these binoculars. <laughs> and we're just gonna order everything because there's three things on here that we can try. We've already ordered, we're ready to go. All right, so here at World Premier Food Court, you're gonna head over here to Roxy and ask for the secret menu. There'll be a, a cast member standing there who's usually taking your order and she or he will bring it out it's in this nice case and whenever you order you just come over here and wait and they're gonna call your name so that's what we're doing right now like taylor said we've gotten all, everything off the menu there's three items it's poutine uh, a chili cheese hot dog and a burger a cinnamon roll burger so uh pretty exciting we've never tried this before we've heard a lot of great things about it we're excited so now we just have to wait It is a lot of food. So there's three things on the secret item menu. We got the foot long macaroni and cheese bacon hot dog. It comes with a side of fries and coleslaw. Then we got the poutine fries, which come with cheese curds and gravy. And it is a pretty healthy portion of fries. And then last but not least, the thing that I have been waiting to try is the cinnamon roll cheeseburger with bacon and cheese. And it is a really big warm cinnamon roll as the bun. And the bacon, it's not regular bacon, it is candied bacon. And then this also comes with a side of fries and coleslaw. So we ordered all three things because we thought that the burger and the hot dog were just gonna be by themselves and then we'd have the poutine fries as a side. That is not the case. So we have a ton of food here because the burger and the hot dog both come with fries and coleslaw. So they're basically meals themselves. And then you have this whole thing of poutine fries. So. We've got a lot of eating to do. There's no way we're gonna finish it all. So if you come here with some people, make sure you bring enough people to share all of this. I'm actually gonna try the hot dog first because uh, I'm a connoisseur of hot dogs. This is an all beef hot dog. They have something very similar over in Magic Kingdom at Casey's Corner. And this, I have to say, already looks a lot better than what's ever at Casey's Corner. And who the heck uses a fork and knife? I'm just going all in. No other way to do it. Maybe. Very good. Way better than the mac and cheese hot dog that I've had over at Casey's Corner. It's all beef, which is really nice. Macaroni and cheese, nice and warm, creamy. And then you have like that crunchiness of the bacon. Fantastic. Love it. I'm actually now going to use a fork and probably a knife. Because this is like impossible to heat with your hands without making an entire mess. All right, now next I'm gonna try the poutine, which are french fries with a brown gravy and then the cheese curds. Smells really good. Give me a cheese curd in there. Oh. Those are amazing. Brown gravy pairs perfectly with the french fries. There's a little bit of a saltiness in there. And the cheese just adds another like nice little flavor. It's not like overdone because they're just cheese curds and it's not a cheese sauce, which I think is really important. But it is amazing. I would probably come back and get just the poutine. And it's a huge portion too mind you like a big portion two people could eat it easily i am going in for this burger that i have been dying to try here we go that is so good 
I thought it might be a little bit weird, a burger with a cinnamon roll, but the combination of flavors that they have in there, it's a regular beef burger, they have some cheese on there, the candied bacon and the cinnamon roll, that sweetness of the candy bacon is really nice with the sweetness of the cinnamon roll and it's kind of balanced out with that cheese and the burger that's more savory than the rest of it. It is so good. I don't know if Josh is going to be allowed to have any. Kayla's actually going to let me try this. I had some withholding about this burger just because it's like weird. You know, it's a weird combination of flavors, or at least it seems that way, just by looking at it, but it actually pairs really, really well together. The sweetness of the cinnamon roll and the candied bacon bounces really well with the fat flavorings of the burger. Basically exactly like Taylor said, it is phenomenal. This is another one that I would definitely come back and get again. And not to uh, take anything away from the hot dog because the hot dog's good, but poutine and the burger definitely at the top of the list of these three things must have. Phenomenally good. I'm gonna eat this poutine now because it's amazing. We are starting to get very full with all this food because it's a ton of food. So let's talk about the price of this food real quick. This is a counter service restaurant. So this is, uh, if you were to use the dining plan, which some of these options are available on the dining plan when you click through uh, the thing, it'll show you what's available uh, for the dining plan. The burger was $14.99 and the hot dog was $13.79 and the poutine fries were actually $7.99. Still a huge portion on the fries, but I, with the poutine fries, I mean, but I think just because it doesn't come with two sides, uh, that might be why. None of this comes with a drink. We did get one drink for us to share because it's just us, we don't really need two drinks. In total for all three things, uh, came to about 40 bucks. I think again, you would be better off saying with the burger and the poutine fries. But here's my thing about Disney's footlong beef hot dogs. I'm assuming he might be like the floor manager came over and he's like, best way I can describe it is that it's hefty. It is definitely hefty. It's a lot. So definitely not finishing this, but we have finished the poutine and the burger. Didn't finish all the fries because it's a ton of food. But again, absolutely fantastic. You don't have to be staying here at the resort to come and try this. A lot of fun. It's very cool to make the experience very personal and like exciting, you know? So very cool. I'm really excited that we finally got to come over here and try this secret menu. And like Josh said, they do make it feel like a very unique experience. They take you over to this little side counter at Roxy, and they open up the case, and it's like, ooh, look what's inside here. And then when you flip through all the pages, it actually says classified up at the top corners. It's really cool. I've basically been wanting to do this since they opened it. We've just been so busy, we haven't had a chance, and finally we had a week that was like, okay, we need a dining review, and I was like, this is what we're doing. I highly recommend you get the burger if you come here. It was awesome. I can't believe how good all the flavors work together. And it's actually a pretty decent sized burger. It's like the regular burgers you get in the parks. It's just made up different with the cinnamon roll. And it comes with a large side of fries and a coleslaw. So if you want a smaller lunch, you and one other person could split this and eat it together. So let us know, have you ever been to Disney's All-Star Movies Resort and eaten at World Premier Food Court? And let us know if you have ever tried the secret menu.